purification of view. Opening parenthesis. D. Vishuddhi Nidisa. Section 1. Now, it was said earlier. 14. Closing parenthesis. That he should first fortify his knowledge by learning and questioning about those things that are the soil after he has perfected the two purifications. Purification of virtue and purification of consciousness, that are the roots. Now, of those, purification of virtue is the quite purified fourfold virtue beginning with Patimokha restraint. And that has already been dealt with in detail in the description of virtue. Opening parenthesis. C. H. is. I. and 2. And the purification of consciousness, namely, the eight attainments together with access concentration, has also been dealt with in detail in all its aspects in the description of concentration. C. H. is. 3 to 13. Stated under the heading of consciousness in the introductory verse. So those two purifications should be understood in detail as given there. Section 2. But it was said above. 14. Closing parenthesis. That the five purifications. Purification of view. Purification by overcoming doubt. Purification by knowledge and vision of what is the path and what is not the path, purification by knowledge and vision of the way, and purification by knowledge and vision, are the trunk. Herein, purification of view is the correct seeing of mentality materiality. Defining of mentality materiality. Definition based on the four primaries. Opening parenthesis. A starting with mentality section 3 one who wants to accomplish this if firstly his vehicle is serenity should emerge from any fine material or immaterial jhana except the base consisting of neither perception nor non-perception and he should discern according to characteristic function etc the jhana factors consisting of applied thought etc and the states associated with them, that is, feeling, perception, and so on. When he has done so, all that should be defined as mentality. Nama. In the sense of bending. Namana. For because of its bending on to the object. Section 4. Then. Just as a man. By following a snake that he has seen in his house finds its abode, so too this meditator scrutinizes that mentality, he seeks to find out what its occurrence is supported by and he sees that it is supported by the matter of the heart. After that, he discerns as materiality the primary elements, which are the heart's support, and the remaining, derived kinds of materiality that have the elements as their support. He defines all that as materiality. Rupa because it is molested, rapana, by cold, etc. Dot. After that he defines in brief as mentality materiality. Nama rupa. The mentality that has the characteristic of bending and the materiality that has the characteristic of being molested. Opening parenthesis. B. Starting with materiality. Section 5. But one whose vehicle is pure insight, or that same aforesaid one whose vehicle is serenity, discerns the four elements in brief or in detail in one of the various ways given in the chapter on the definition of the four elements. 11. FF. Closing parenthesis. Dot. Then, when the elements have become clear in the correct essential characteristics, firstly, in the case of head hair originated by Kama there become plain ten instances of materiality. Rupani. With the body decked thus. The four elements, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, and life, and body sensitivity. And because the sex decad is present there too there are another ten that is, the same nine with sex instead of body sensitivity. And since the octad with nutritive essence is eight that is, the four elements and color. 
odor, savor, and nutritive essence, originated by nutriment, and that originated by temperature, and that originated by consciousness are present there too, there are another 24. So there is a total of 44 instances of materiality in the case of each of the 24 bodily parts of fourfold origination. But in the case of the four, namely, sweat tears, spittle, and snot, which are originated by temperature and by consciousness, there are 16 instances of materiality with the two octaves with nutritive essence as eighth in each. In the case of the four, namely, gorge, dung, pus, and urine, which are originated by temperature, eight instances of materiality become plain in each with the octad with nutritive essence as eighth in what is originated only by temperature. This, in the first place, is the method in the case of the 32 bodily aspects. Section 6 but there are ten more aspects that become clear when those thirty-two aspects have become clear. And as regards these, firstly, nine instances of materiality, that is, the octad with nutritive essence as eighth plus life, become plain in the case of the kama born part of heat, fire, that digests what is eaten, etc. Comma and likewise nine instances of materiality, that is, the octad with nutritive essence as eighth plus sound, in the case of the consciousness born part of air consisting of in-breaths and out-breaths, and thirty-three instances of materiality, that is, the kama born life enied and the three octaves with nutritive essence as eighth in the case of each of the remaining eight parts that are of fourfold origination. Section 7. And when these instances of materiality derived by clinging from the primaries have thus become plain in detail in the case of these 42 aspects, that is, 32 parts of the body, 4 modes of fire, and 6 modes of air, another 60 instances of materiality become plain with the physical heart basis and the five sense doors, that is, with the heart basis decade and the five decades beginning with the eye decade. Taking all these together under the characteristic of being molested, he sees them as materiality. Section 8. When he has discerned materiality thus. The immaterial states become plain to him in accordance with the sense doors, that is to say, the 81 kinds of mundane consciousness consisting of the two sets of five consciousnesses. Dash. And. The three kinds of mind element. And. And the 68 kinds of mind consciousness element. And then seven consciousness concomitants, that is. I. Contact, feeling, perception. E. Volition. Opening parenthesis. VII. Life. VIII. Steadiness of consciousness, and XXX. Attention, which are invariably connascent with all these consciousnesses. The supramundane kinds of consciousness, however, are not discernible either by one who is practicing pure insight or by one whose vehicle is serenity because they are out of their reach. Taking all these immaterial states together under the characteristic of bending, he sees them as mentality. This is how one meditator defines mentality materiality in detail through the method of defining the four elements. Definition based on the 18 elements. Section 9. Another does it by means of the 18 elements. How? Here Bhikkhu considers the elements thus. There are in this person the I element, the mind consciousness element. Instead of taking the piece of flesh variegated with white and black circles, having length and breadth, and fastened in the eye socket with a string of sinew, which the world terms an eye, he defines as I element the eye sensitivity of the kind described among the kinds of derived materiality in the description of the aggregates. 14. Closing parenthesis. Dot. Section 10. 
but he does not define as I element the remaining instances of materiality, which total 53. That is, the nine connascent instances of materiality consisting of the four primary elements, which are its support, the four concomitant instances of materiality, namely, color, odor, flavor, and nutritive essence, and the sustaining life faculty and also the twenty kama-born instances of materiality that are there too, consisting of the body decad and sex decad, and the twenty-four unclang to instances of materiality consisting of the three octads with nutritive essence as eighth, which are originated by nutriment and saran. The same method applies to the ear element and the rest. But in the case of the body element the remaining instances of materiality total 43. Though some say 45 by adding sound and making 9 each for the temperature born and consciousness born sound. Section 11. So these five sensitivities. And their five respective objective fields, that is, visible data, sounds, odors, flavors, and tangible data, make ten instances of materiality, which are ten of the eighteen elements. The remaining instances of materiality are the mental data element only. The consciousness that occurs with the eye as its support and contingent upon a visible datum is called eye consciousness element and likewise with the ear and so on. In this way the two sets of five consciousnesses are the five consciousness elements. The three kinds of consciousness consisting of mind element. And are the single mind element. The sixty-eight kinds of mind consciousness element are the mind consciousness element. So all the eighty-one kinds of mundane consciousness make up seven kinds of consciousness element and the contact, etc. associated therewith are the mental data element. So ten and a half elements are materiality and seven and a half elements are mentality. This is how one meditator defines mentality materiality by means of the eighteen elements. Definition based on the twelve bases. Section twelve. Another does it by means of the twelve bases. How? He defines as I base the sensitivity only, leaving out the 53 remaining instances of materiality, in the way described for the I element. And in the way described there he also defines the elements of the ear, nose, tongue, and body, as ear base, nose base, tongue base, body base. He defines five states that are their respective objective fields as visible data base, sound base, odor base, flavor base, tangible data base. He defines the seven mundane consciousness elements as mind base. He defines the contact, etc. associated therewith and also the remaining instances of materiality as mental data base. So here ten and a half bases are materiality and one and a half bases are mentality. This is how one meditator defines mentality materiality by means of the twelve bases. Definition based on the five aggregates. Section 13. Another defines it more briefly than that by means of the aggregates. How? Hirabiku defines as the materiality aggregate all the following 27 instances of materiality. That is, the 17 instances of materiality consisting of the four primaries of fourfold origination in this body and dependent color, odor, flavor, and nutritive essence, and the five sensitivities beginning with the eye sensitivity, and the materiality of the physical heart basis, sex, life faculty, and sound of twofold origination, which seventeen instances of materiality are suitable for comprehension since they are produced and are instances of concrete materiality. And then the ten instances of materiality. That is, bodily intimation, verbal intimation, the space element, and the lightness, malleability, wieldiness, growth, Continuity, 
aging, and impermanence of materiality, which ten instances of materiality are, however, not suitable for comprehension since they are merely the mode alteration and the limitation of interval. They are not produced and are not concrete materiality, but they are reckoned as materiality because they are mode alterations, and limitation of interval, of various instances of materiality. So he defines all these 27 instances of materiality as the the materiality aggregate. He defines the feeling that arises together with the 81 kinds of mundane consciousness as the feeling aggregate. The perception associated therewith as the perception aggregate, the formations associated therewith as the formations aggregate, and the consciousness as the consciousness aggregate. So by defining the materiality aggregate as materiality and the four immaterial aggregates as mentality, he defines mentality materiality by means of the five aggregates. Brief definition based on the four primaries. Section 14. Another discerns materiality in his person briefly thus. Any kind of materiality whatever all consists of the four primary elements and the materiality derived from the four primary elements. MI222. And he likewise discerns the mind base and a part of the mental data base as mentality. Then he defines mentality materiality in brief thus. This mentality and this materiality are called mentality materiality. 8. If the immaterial fails to become evident. Section 15. But if he has discerned materiality in one of these ways. And while he is trying to discern the immaterial it does not become evident to him owing to its subtlety. Then he should not give up but should again and again comprehend, give attention to, discern, and define materiality only. For in proportion as materiality becomes quite definite, disentangled and quite clear to him, so the immaterial states that have that materiality as their object become plain of themselves too. Section 16 just as when a man with eyes looks for the reflection of his face in a dirty looking glass and sees no reflection, he does not throw the looking glass away because the reflection does not appear. On the contrary, he polishes it again and again. And then the reflection becomes plain of itself when the looking glass is clean. And just as when a man kneading oil puts sesame flour in a basin and wets it with water and no oil comes out with only one or two pressings, he does not throw the sesame flour away. But on the contrary, he wets it again and again with hot water and squeezes and presses it. And as he does so clear sesame oil comes out. Or just as. When a man wanting to clarify water has taken a katuka nut and put his hand inside the pot and rubbed it once or twice but the water does not come clear, he does not throw the katuka nut away. On the contrary, he rubs it again and again. And as he does so the fine mud subsides and the water becomes transparent and clear. So too, the bhikkhu should not give up, but he should again and again comprehend, give attention to, discern and define materiality only. Section 17. For in proportion as materiality becomes quite definite, disentangled and quite clear to him, so the defilements that are opposing him subside. His consciousness becomes clear like the water above the precipitated mud, and the immaterial states that have that materiality as their object become plain of themselves too. And this meaning can also be explained in this way by other analogies such as the pressing of sugarcane.